So what an extraordinary day. I woke up at five o'clock this morning and I thought, this is going to be a monstrous day and I think everything is going to go wrong. Why? Because Richard Branson's story had changed, not from the man who was going to attack supermarkets, but from the man who had to field all his questions about whether he was going to get involved with the ITV takeover. So our story was gone, disappeared. And yet, somehow, the passion, the commitment, the energy that had gone into the launch of this extraordinary record store actually came to life. Why? Because it was absolutely a real story. We had New Order and him taking the applause from crowds of people that assembled at the Arndale Centre on a wet Tuesday morning. I, I just can't believe it. Now, this wasn't easy. Why wasn't it easy? Because the confidence in their own store wasn't there. There were so many reasons for it not to succeed. And yet Branson brought a presence. Maybe it didn't have some of the top bands that were available, but it did have him. And somehow, even the story of the day, NCL v Sky, would they buy ITV, was sort of swallowed up by what this is, a real record store. My people, all, two of them in particular, Lucy and Mecca, worked their socks off against a cynicism towards whether this would actually work and produced some eye-watering coverage. And I suppose that's what it's about. I suppose this is about the belief that sometimes the job is bigger than the client's expectations. So let's see what happens tomorrow. But today, from the queues of people in front of me that waited for, above all, the mighty Bush, the man that turned up with a polo on his eye, to the people to for Ricky Hatton, to Richard Fleischman, to Nicky Sanderson, and to Manchester, where you've got a living entity that could actually change the face of how we buy music, and in some way brings back the idea of a record store that I grew up and loved with. And for me, my personal highlight is over there. Vinyl. <laughs>